Am I the asshole? For asking my son to bring my six-week-old granddaughter to visit me, without his fiancé? Throw away. 51F, my son is 29 and he and his fiancé Jen have a six-week-old daughter Lily. She also has a seven-year son that is not MG son's child but I still consider him my grandbaby. I used to get along really well with Jen and told everyone she was like a daughter to me. But when she got pregnant, she started acting weird toward me. Like I asked to be in the room for delivery and she said eclipsed no despite letting her seven-year son's dad's mom in the room for his delivery. No big deal, it's her choice. But when I went to visit in the hospital, afterwards she acted really put off that I was there. I figured she was just tired and left after 20 minutes to give her space. But then it continued. Is this a joke or are you really this clueless about babies or people in general? No mom wants to sit hearing their baby cry while someone else tells that newborn that they won't get away with that. Get a grip. You're the asshole. The title is enough. She is their child first. That happens to make you her grandmother. I told her the baby was going to get used to being held all the time if she kept doing that. Unkind and rude. You're the asshole. You are never entitled to see a baby without its mother. I think the parents are doing the right thing limiting your relationship with your grandchild if this is your approach. I told her the baby was going to get used to being held all the time if she kept doing that. And then what? The baby might learn that she can depend on her parents, might feel secure in the knowledge that she's loved and safe. The horror. Yes. You're the asshole. Reread what you wrote again and infer from that. You're the asshole. The baby is six weeks old. You're 51. You have 40 years to have a relationship with your granddaughter. You're the asshole you sound awful. No one wants to listen to a mill criticizing their parenting. You're not helpful. Be careful or they'll just cut you loose permanently. To think that someone thought all these words, typed this whole thing out, and still doesn't understand why they're the are. You're the asshole, op. You're the asshole. If you sneak around and put your son in an awkward position like that it will definitely be the last time you see that baby. You're the asshole. I would love to hear your fdil's take on this. I'm sure it is very different from what's been disclosed in your post. You're the asshole I suggest you go on through to our just normal and see why daughters-in-law hate their mothers-in-law for acting the way you did until now. It will also give you a nice window to your future, if you don't learn some boundaries. You're the asshole sounds like you have zero respect for her boundaries or her parenting style. You're the only one ruining relationships around here. Your first mistake was asking to be in the delivery room. It was a horrendously inappropriate question and now she rightfully has her back up. As for the request in question, you're the asshole. Mom and baby are a package deal. Erta. This is a human being, not a toy for you to play with. What you want has no bearing on anything, the only thing that is important is what the parents want. Erta. Goddamn, you're the type of mill that every woman would pray she never has, you're the mill that people from our just no mill are talking about. Sit tf down grandma. This isn't your baby. Your title doesn't get you any entitlement. Haha <laughs> this is a great way to end up with no contact with your son or grandchildren. Erta. I'd never ask or expect to be in a delivery room to even my daughters. Then this? Wow. You're the asshole. Literally everything you said in the post is the reason your dill doesn't like you. This isn't your child stop demanding to get your way. You're the asshole. You cannot be that clueless. I wouldn't trust you with my baby either. You wrote all this, with every point and detail as to why you're in the wrong, and you don't see a problem lol. You're the asshole I'm actually dying laughing that you think a newborn baby hates you because her mom does. Look inward and reflect, you're just the worst. Info what the hell is wrong with you? Who acts like this? No one with dignity and self-respect, that's for sure. You're the asshole perhaps the reason she doesn't like you is that you're overbearing. 
You also don't seem to respect that she is babe's mum, and your unsolicited advice isn't helpful. You're the asshole. You're the asshole in every way. You're the asshole. They brought a new baby home and you come over weekly. If I were in your shoes, I'd give them some space. You're the asshole come on can you not realize by typing it all out in front of you. You're the asshole. I think you need to remember who the parents are. Especially the mom. It sounds like you are trying to supplant the mother. I think you need some counseling. You're the asshole. All you're doing is setting up to lose contact here. You're the asshole. Erta. You're the asshole. Babies don't play us by the way. Please take some time to update yourself on research. You asked your son to bring a six-week-old baby to visit you without her mother. You're the asshole. So are you gonna look at these comments and reflect or are you gonna double down to the point that you eventually lose any relationship at all with your son and grandchildren? Kudos to your son for setting the boundary. Be proud of him for that. To me it sounds like you are very opinionated about the way she is with her baby. You cannot spoil a baby. I'm assuming this is the issue. Your so would be enough for sneaking the baby away. You're the asshole the baby is only six weeks old and you have seen her in the hospital and went to their house five times. Give them time to enjoy being a new family without having to entertain you. You're the asshole. You have seen the baby six times including at the hospital since they were born before her own mom has seen them once. You are way too invasive. You're one more visit away from no contact. You honestly scare me.